Welcome to another gear review from Adventure Widely. Uh, today I want to talk about the Mountain Hardware Flip uh, 35 and 50 degree sleeping bag. This is the bag that is probably not on your radar because it's an oddball in their lineup. Uh, I have a 10 year old daughter who loves to go outside and backpack with me and do other kinds of outdoor activities. She recently graduated from uh, the Mountain Hardware's uh, Mountain Goat 20 degree sleeping bag, uh, which was a kid specific bag. And it had very nice features for her until she got too tall for it. So we ended up getting this bag here uh, for two main reasons. One, it is a down bag and I really like down sleeping bags, especially when you're gonna be out uh, and having to carry all this stuff with you on your back day after day. The other thing too about this bag that I like is that it is rectangular rather than a mummy bag. Uh, my daughter still squirms a lot when she sleeps and this bag allows her to have room to squirm. Uh, another thing I've noticed too um, with my daughter as well as some of her friends is that they sleep really hot. So she doesn't need to have the type of insulation that a lot of adults need to have, especially adult women. If you notice, women's bags are usually rated a lot differently than men's because women tend to sleep a lot colder than men. Um, kids though, it seems they sleep really hot compared to adults. So this bag being a flip, it has a unique design where one uh, side of it has more down insulation than the other. So, and being a rectangular uh, bag, and there's no uh, hood for it. You can flip the bag over and I'll show you that here in a second and uh, change the temperature rating on the bag because the, the ground does not have any purpose really for the insulation in the bag. That's all from your ground pad or insulated mat that you have. So onto the bag here, this is the stuff sack for it. And Mountain Hardware has a nice design for their stuff sacks where you can get your fingers in here and it really helps you open up the bag and pull out your sleeping bag out of the, out of the stuff sack. So we'll throw that up here on the table. And as you can see here, you know, a nice rectangle opening. It's a very large opening as well. And it's slightly tapered, but not nearly as aggressively as a mummy bag would be. So that's, uh, that's how the sleeping bag is designed, is to have a lot more wiggle room in it. So as you can see here, we have two different colors of the sleeping bag. We have the green, and then we have uh, the darker blue here. Uh, one side is 35 degree side, and the other side is the uh, 50 degree side. So depending on whether you are chilly that night or you're too hot, you can just simply flip the bag over and now uh, you've changed the temperature rating of that bag. Other uh, key feature of this bag is it does have a uh, draw cord here so you can cinch this up a little bit. Not nearly as aggressively as you would for a mummy bag but you do have that feature here. Uh, we also have it's velcro around the top of the zipper here to help prevent the zipper from coming down uh, if you wiggle too much which I know my daughter wiggles a lot while she sleeps. We have a small little pocket here up near the top. Um, this is just about big enough for car keys. Maybe your a uh, couple credit cards or some money as well, but not much will fit into that. But really you shouldn't be carrying a whole lot anyways when you're trying to sleep. Four foot 10 individual in this bag. Here are the feet that it can be tickled. <laughs> <laughs> Put your legs back down. So as you see here, there's plenty of room here still for a full size adult to be in this bag. Uh, no mummy bag area on this uh, sleeping bag. So her head does stick out. If she puts her head all the way in, go ahead and slide all the way in. She was really cold. So she still has an extra foot of space at the end of this uh, sleeping bag here, even with her all the way down to the bottom of it. Yeah. So that is the Mountain Hardware Flip. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content of these videos, please subscribe and I'll continue to make more and more of these as uh, the days go on. Bye. Adventure widely.